Hey, so I just finished reading Time and Free Will by Henri Bergson, or Henry Bergson if you prefer, as a very Americanized pronunciation. I'm pretty sure the first one was correct, though. Uh, he is a Frenchman, or was a Frenchman. Uh, this book was published in 1889, <clears throat> uh, and it deals with physics and with psychology. And essentially, uh, the first part of the book goes to describe uh, how there are magnitudes of experience and <clears throat> magnitudes of sensation. Uh, and the second part of the book goes on to describe how uh, space and time are not necessarily the same thing, but are linked. Uh, and that time and duration are separate things. And that duration is uh, something that can only exist within the mind. It requires a conscious self in order to experience duration. Whereas time is just perpetually moving forward. Um, now the final part of the book deals with free will, and specifically a takedown of determinism uh, using what, they, what he had already built up in the first two chapters. Um, now essentially uh, Bergson's ar argument is that free will because you cannot predict things using the conditions in which they originated uh, free will therefore exists that is the essence of the argument and he goes at great length about this <clears throat> uh, he does very well in proving it uh, it's not so simple as that. It's, it's a little bit more complex, but that's basically what it is. Um, he, in the conclusion, he actually brings up Kant and how Kant uh, made some mistakes, and that was that was kind of interesting. Um, it was a very interesting book. Uh, I think it's probably necessary if you're interested in the determinism versus free will argument um but maybe not the best book to prove the point of free will uh overall i i think there are, might be better books out there to prove the case of free will uh, i read one uh, i think two years ago now uh the mind and the brain by jeffrey schwartz that one did great at proving free will. Um, uh, there's still another book that I have to read uh, on that topic, but I don't have the space for it. I don't have the money for it. Uh, that's determined by Robert Sapolsky. Now, I have seen Sapolsky talk about determination and uh, determinism, and I saw him debate uh, uh, Daniel Dennett on the topic. And so I know a little bit about it. Uh, but I, I haven't read his book, so I can't accurately refute everything that he's said on the topic. Um, but uh, that's about all I wanted to say. Thank you for watching. Peace.